Welcome to the Tell Me More Now channel. Are you an optimist or a pessimist? There are easy ways to tell if you're an optimist or a pessimist. Subscribe to be notified of new videos on self-help, health and wellness. Who is an optimist? An optimist looks for the silver lining in every storm cloud, the positive in every bad circumstance, or the good in every person. Who is a pessimist? The pessimist, on the other hand, is constantly anticipating negative things to happen. Because of the way he chooses to think, he is always on the lookout for something negative. The pessimist is always waiting for the other shoe to drop, just knowing something bad is about to happen. To him, any positive event is just a lucky coincidence. Someone else always seems to land the dream job, live the perfect life, and find inner peace, but never him, so he believes. If he does land the job of his dreams, he is either anticipating a demotion or the closure of the business. Instead of focusing on the here and now, the pessimist spends their time dwelling on the worst-case scenarios that could occur. He constantly highlights everything that is negative in his thoughts and feelings. The optimist is tenacious in his aspirations and views every failure to reach his objectives as a step closer to victory. But a pessimist frequently gives up, never trying again since he views failure as the ultimate result. When trouble does arise, optimists roll up their sleeves and get to work coming up with a solution since they are happier in life. They draw people to them and discover that establishing long-lasting connections is easier since positive individuals are attractive to others. People who are pessimistic tend to see life as difficult and challenging and will often have a negative outlook on life. They are more likely to take risks but they don't believe they will succeed. Pessimistic people are also less likely to be happy with their lives and tend to have low self-esteem. On the other hand, optimistic people tend to see life as being full of opportunities and possibilities for success. They are more likely to be happy with their lives and have high self-esteem. In order to be optimistic, it is important to make sure that you have a realistic outlook on how things are. Examining the past can help identify personal experiences which will help shape your future perceptions of life. This is because the expected timeline of events in your life will have a direct impact on how you view the world and what events are most important to you. People with pessimism are more likely to be narcissistic than those with optimism. This typically results from unpleasant experiences that have hurt them. They have occasionally had huge disappointments that have taught them to give up on having any positive aspirations. Many people are unaware of the fact that, despite their inability to anticipate the future or stop life's events from occurring, they can control their actions. According to the adage, act, don't react, you can choose your response to any event in advance. In other words, you have a choice of whether to be an optimist or a pessimist. You have the choice of whether or not you want to be content and at peace with yourself. It starts by controlling what you think. In short, pessimistic people alienate others by their actions and speech, which is sad because some pessimistic people could achieve and be so much more with a little adjustment to their outlook on life. Hope that this video has helped you to discover whether your leaning is toward optimism or pessimism. Subscribe to be notified of new videos on self-help, health and wellness.